Hello dear friends, in tip number 192, I told you a method through which you can solve problems related to the difference between compound interest and simple interest for a time of 2 years. Now to continue this sequence of videos, in part 2, I am going to tell you a shortcut through which you can solve the problems related to this very important concept for time equal to 3 years. Remember, this shortcut will be applied only when the time given is 3 years. So, the first problem which we are going to take it is the difference between CI and SI on a certain sum of money invested at the rate of 10% per annum for 3 years is Rs. 155. Find the sum. So, we need to find the sum of the money. So, we need to find the principal amount. What we are given is 10% per annum, this is the rate of interest and obviously the time is 3 years, so 3 years the problem which we are doing is for 3 years only and this is the difference between the CI and SI, so I am representing this difference between CI and SI as capital D. So we have two variables which are already given and we need to find P. Similarly, in the second question we will have this is rupees 40,000. So we will have P equal to rupees 40,000. So we are given one variable invested at the rate of 20% per annum. So we are given the rate of interest 20% per annum. So again, two things are given and time is again three years. So three years is the time, and we have to find the difference between CI and SI. So, D is required to be found out. So, you see two problems, they are similar in nature, only thing is the variable which is to be found out is different. Here we need to find out the principal amount P given R and D and here we need to find out the difference D and given principal and the rate of interest. So, the shortcut for this is a very good and amazing shortcut because the traditional method will consume a lot of time you have to find compound interest you have to find simple interest apply long formulas and then solve it to get the required principal amount so by using this shortcut you will be able to do it in three to four seconds time only now the shortcut for this is p equal to now p is the principal amount d into now the time is 100 uh, sorry 3 years so we need we need to write 100 and raise it to the power of number of years so number of years here is 3 so 100 raised to power 3 divided by r square r is the rate of interest so r square multiplied by 300 plus r so you see we have three variables here p r and d related with this important shortcut and we will be able to find the principal amount using this shortcut. Now let us apply this to solve this problem. Now here we are given D, D as 155 into 100 3 times upon R square, R is 10, so 10 into 10 and 300 plus r, r is 10, so 300 plus 10, that is 310. Now you need to just simplify this and you will get the final answer, the principal amount. For solving, see we need to cancel out all the zeros, 1, 2 and 3 zeros, so 1, 2 and 3 zeros cancel out. And if you observe 31 goes exactly 5 times, so what we are left with is rupees 5 and 1, 2, 3, 3 zeros. So, rupees 5000 is the final answer. So, you see how much time we consume for applying this shortcut. It will be only 3 to 4 seconds and traditional method and this method cannot be compared when you are solving these kind of problems in competitive exams. Let us solve this now, apply the same formula again, P is equal to D into 100 raised to power 3 upon R square into 300 plus R. 
implies now see what all we are given p is 40000 so 40000 equal to d we need to find out so d will remain as it is into 100 3 times upon r now r is 20 percent so r square 20 into 20 and the final term is 300 plus r so 300 plus r is 20 so 320 now in the numerator here you have four zeros so you can cancel out four zeros with four zeros here in the numerator again two zeros here you can cancel these two zeros also with these two zeros and now what we are left with is 4 equal to d upon 2 into 2 4 into 320 so d will come out to be 320 into 4 into 4 a small calculation and you get your result here 320 into 4 into 4 so 0 so 320 into 16 and when you solve this you will get your final result 320 into 16 that is d equal to 0 16 to the 32 so you have 2 3 carry and 16 is the 48 plus 3 51 so 5120 rupees is the difference between ci and si now you see this important shortcut will enable you to have a lot of time saved in competitive exams. So these methods are to be practiced if you need to succeed and at competitive level traditional methods will not find wide applicability. So keep loving these videos and share and subscribe the channel if you like it.